are smart when we build it. Because we made this so there's nothing to uh, From what I've learned about everyone is that we all just wanted to try something new. We all wanted uh, something that would challenge us, basically. And we've had a lot of um, ups and downs, like a robot breaking down on us and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And we panicked because it's like we've never done robotics before. It's basically like our coach, uh, Bridget, she basically just like, we were like, oh, we can't swim, and she just dumped us into the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> we knew when we got them involved that these girls were going to be phenomenal. From day one, um, we knew their strengths, we knew their backgrounds. Um, it was actually amazing at first in they, they had very little exposure to robotics. So when they first started out, they were struggling. I mean, they, the way they were building their robotics, their robot, it was falling apart on them. Um, but every single week, they got better and better and better. And I'm not at all surprised at where they're at right now, but to have seen where they started from and to where they are now, it is just, blows my mind and it gets me so excited and so thrilled that um, they've had this opportunity to see themselves grow in that way. This is where I'm going to cry. <laughs> so when I got involved at the end of last year, Bridget and I both made a commitment to um, trying to increase the number of females involved in our program. Ten years from now is when my daughters are going to be in this room and doing these things and I want the shift in the change of culture to happen before they get here. I want, by the time that they get here, for it just to be the norm, not the exception, not the, oh man, that's great, you've got 30% of your, girl, your participants are girls. I wanna be, of course you have 30%, probably 50% by then. Um, and so, because of my own kids, my own daughters, that's why I'm passionate about it, and it's super important to me that we're, actively making that change in the face of STEM these days. I used to be that person that would go to other people for advice with the programming, but now some people actually come to us mm -hmm. for ideas, for support, for things, and it's really nice because no one really had respect for us in the yeah. very beginning. Yeah. And so now we're one of the top teams and it feels really nice to improve so much that people actually want our help. It's great because um, like with the other girl power team and even the other um, guy teams and the other mixed teams, it's great because our school is a place where I think we all feel safe, where we all feel like we're included and no matter what your gender is, you still have a chance to show how um, smart and capable you really are.